Uh, it, it was the 80s, there was no internet, there was no way to, to Google how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Uh, and I didn't know at the time how impossible it actually is. It really is very, very near impossible to take a cube without knowing any of the math behind it and just solve it outright. I didn't know this at the time, but I Googled it recently and I learned how many different permutations there are. Now, I'll explain what a permutation is. If I do this, that's a permutation. It means this configuration of all six sides. Because when you make one twist like this, it changes five sides of the cube. And as I do that, every time I do that, it's a new permutation. That's different than this. This is different than this. And all the different combinations, all the different permutations, do you know how big that number is? It's 43 quintillion. That's a four with 19 numbers behind it. And I know that that's a really difficult number to grasp because it's so big, so I'm gonna help you visualize this. Imagine that I'm a man holding up a four, like a big piece of paper that says four, and I'm the head of the Duggar family. And all my kids, <laughs> okay. you could give one of these to everyone in the world and have them do this every day for a year. You wouldn't have two Rubik's Cubes that were exactly the same. But tonight, your name? Jordan. Jordan is going to solve a Rubik's Cube. Have you ever solved a Rubik's Cube before? No. Nope. Come with me. <laughs> Jordan, not only are you going to solve a Rubik's Cube, but you're going to solve a Rubik's Cube in 10 seconds. <laughs> the 10 second solve. Now you can go on YouTube and you can see little children doing this. So if you can't do it, don't feel bad. They've studied and studied. You're new at this. But I'm gonna use magic on you <laughs> to let you be able to solve it. So. 10 seconds. Now, that's gonna be good, but what's even better than that is this unsolved cube will also be solved. I'm gonna do that without touching it. I place it in this box, I close the doors around it so I can't get to it, and in 10 seconds that'll be solved. In 10 seconds your cube will be solved. Do you think you can do it? Yeah. 10. When I get to zero, I want you to place that cube on my hand and it will be solved, Jordan. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six. You look like you're not even trying, Jordan. I want you to really put a good effort into this. You can do it. I'll start over. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Stop. Jordan, you've got it upside down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, this is unbelievable. Three, this is gonna be crazy. Two, check this out. One, zero. <laughs> what the heck is this, Jordan? I, uh... It's okay, mine's not solved either. That'd be impossible, I didn't even touch it. But this is where I want you to notice something. One of Jordan's sides perfectly matches one of my sides. Two of Jordan's sides perfectly match two of my sides. Three of Jordan's sides, four of Jordan's sides, five, all six sides. This is a duplicate replica cube that you have missed. Unbelievable, Jordan. Stay here, stay here, because that's crazy. And the chances of that are probably bigger, larger, than you being able to solve one. But I promised you you'd solve one. So here's what you're going to do. I'll move this back. Short, let me examine this cube. I can't do this, so you're going to do it. You really did a number on this. You're going to put the cube behind your back, Jordan and you're gonna do this. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. Jordan's a smart man. He got, you're just gonna turn the cube. And there's, you're a smart man. You know that there's no way that that will solve the cube, right? You're just gonna take it and you're gonna turn it. It's gonna be crazy. Take a step forward. Hands behind your back. This is gonna be crazy. Here we go. Start turning. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping out, Jordan. You are great. I appreciate your help. But see, I uh, I don't want to 
show you a trick about solving a cube. I'm going to show you about the latest developments in teleportation. <laughs> I've got a, a bag back here. Let me grab that other cube, too. I've got a bag back here. It's an empty bag. And the cube is going to teleport from this empty bag on the table into the box that I used to store my cubes. This is sort of an awkward box. I, uh, I didn't realize what it looked like, and it doesn't fit in my, in my carry-on luggage. So I have to carry it outside of the luggage, which is weird, because I keep going through the airport and people keep saying, oh, I'm sorry for your loss. So I put it on the seat next to me, nobody sits there, it's great. But this is what I use to, uh, to transport my Rubik's Cubes. When I remove one, put it back in the bag, it jumps back into the box. Here's what that looks like. <laughs> teleportation, the magic of teleportation. Of course, the other cube is still there. Two cubes in the box now. There were only one. Now there are two. It's a miracle, ladies and gentlemen, a modern miracle of teleportation. Someone, I did this last night, I was in Pennsylvania, someone said, open both doors at the same time. See, that doesn't do anything. That's the same as what you just saw, so why would I do that? Someone else said, uh, you're tilting it. I'll do it without tilting it. So this is the good part, because if it can teleport from the back to the box, it can teleport from the box. <laughs> to the bag. You act like you're not impressed with this. I'll try harder. You know where it is, right? Oh. <laughs>